Well, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're staying safe and that everything's going uh, your way today. Lots of crazy things going on, but I'm here to um, make some zucchini chocolate chip protein bars today. So I thought maybe a, a little healthy snack would cheer everyone, everybody up. So anyways, I got all my stuff out here and ready to go for the chocolate zucchini bars. And so first of all, we're gonna start off with, um, I made some quinoa. So this is a one cup quinoa. It's got it all ready to go out here. And then we have, I took some oatmeal and I took the magic bullet and I mashed and I grinded up one and one fourth cup of oatmeal. And then, um, let's see here, we have one teaspoon baking powder. I just love these measuring spoons, they're so convenient. One teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon, oh, half a teaspoon salt. We don't want to put too much salt in there, right? Half a teaspoon salt, and let's see what else we have. We have one teaspoon cinnamon. These are going to be so good. I'm having a friend over for tea tonight, and I thought that it would be really cool to have a little healthy snack to go with it. All right, so then we just mix this all up, mix it all up, and get it all nice. The quinoa is kind of, you know, um, really moist, so it's going to, it has lots of water in there, so it's going to mix up really well. Just kind of mix it up really well. I made the quinoa like about a half an hour before. Um, before I started this recipe because it takes about 20 minutes for the quinoa so you can either make your own or make up a whole bunch use leftovers whatever you'd like so kind of get it it looks kind of like a, a cookie cookie crumble right there and then once you get all of that oh I forgot I gotta add the honey I put in a third a cup of honey so that's the sugar is the honey However, it's all natural, so this is um, vegan as well, just so you know. And then we're going to mix all that together. Can you see what I'm doing? All right. Oh, yeah, that makes it up a lot better with the honey in there. Okay. All right. Then after we do that, then we are going to add up. I'm going to put in, I took a half a banana. Well, a little bit more than a half a banana. I put it in, it, it's frozen. So I mashed it all up so it's ready to go. And then I have, um, this is almond butter and a fourth of a cup of almond butter. So it is all ready to go. And then just kind of mix it all together before you add everything else in. And then because this is vegan, I went ahead and made a flax egg, which is really which is really cool. A flax egg is flaxseed and warm water, and it gets real thick, and that it's the consistency of an egg. So we can put that in there as well. It's kind of cool how that, that works out, and then just mix all that up as well. And then here's where it gets really cool. I just picked this zucchini from out of our garden, and I shredded it all up and I put it in some in a paper towel to get all the, the water out of it. And then it's all ready to just add on in. So a one cup of the zucchini. And you can get all those little pieces in here. These are going to be so good. And I'm going to make some chai tea and we're going to have our chocolate chip zucchini bars. Wish you were coming over to have some too. So I have enough for the whole neighborhood, I think. <laughs> so then after you get it all mixed up, then we're going to add hemp seeds. One fourth cup of hemp seeds and one third cup of chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. And then mixing that all up. So it's, you know, it actually mixes up pretty good, like a, like a consistency of a cake batter. And once we get that all mixed up here, then I am going to put it in one of these, um, like about a 13 by 8 baking pan. And I put some parchment paper on, to on the, the top here. And then when I put the this dough in here, it 
just nicely sit right down in here. And then the cool part about the parchment paper is it doesn't stick to the pan when you get it all out. So that's my favorite part. Parchment paper is so amazing. And that's it. Super simple. See how it's kind of runny like this. But so when it gets done baking, then uh, it, I just lift it all out, let it cool. And then from there, I can cut it all up and then put it in the freezer. So, all right, so that's it. Super simple, vegan um, zucchini chocolate chip bars. So there you go. I will go ahead and put the recipe in the comments below and I'll take a picture of how they, they um, look and of course tell you what they taste like because I'm sure they're gonna taste amazing. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk to you soon. Shining bright from the inside out. I hope you are too. Bye.